1249 just hours away, and today many folks were filling carts with what they need for those game time snacks. KNWA's Ben Klein joins us live in, this, in the control room with more in tonight's top story. Ben. Well, Christina, it's getting to be crunch time for fans stocking up for the big game. Chips, drinks, and pretty much any salty snack is expected to be gobbled up tomorrow. Shoppers are busy making sure their guests will be snacking happy. A lot of drinks, a lot of chips, and a lot of people. Marvin's IGA in Fayetteville. Filled with shoppers getting food for the big game. Everybody's there. We watch the game. There's a lot of yelling and cheering. According to the Calorie Control Council, Americans will gobble up at around 2,400 calories during the big game. Fayetteville resident Beth Sylvester says she sticks with a pretty traditional spread. It is all appetizers. So normally, you know, the, the cocktail sausages and barbecue sauce and cheese and crackers and dips and chips. And for Norma Kirby, it's all about the chips and dip. Well, my family really enjoys Rotel and chips. That a fan favorite for Sylvester, pigs in a blanket. I'll get the crescent rolls, I'll get the little cocktail sausages, I'll cut up the rolls, roll them up, bake them, and then I'll have spicy mustard and barbecue sauce to dip them with. At the Super Bowl, not just about good food and football. Kirby says she normally tunes in for the ads, but this year she's also pulling for the Pats. Well, I really like the commercials. That's my favorite. And, um, yeah, I, I like the Patriots a lot. But many say even if their team isn't in the big game, being with family makes it all worth it. Oh, okay, truth be told, Denver should have been in the Super Bowl and we would have been over the moon. And, of course, there's the good food and just, you know, spending fun time together. It's, it's always a fun family event. According to the Calorie Control Council, 8 million pounds of tortilla chips and 11 million pounds of potato chips are expected to be eaten tomorrow. I'm Ben Klein for KNWA, Northwest Arkansas News. All right, Ben, that's